Hello and welcome to today's Anthony Railway B video. Now I have got a very interesting train to review today, as you may have seen in the video that I posted earlier this week. It's not your standard British Outline steam loco, in fact it isn't even a British Outline steam loco and carriage. It's actually Spanish and it's by a Hornby International brand uh, called Electrotren. It came through the post, I had to get it imported from Germany, <laughs> a model train shop in Germany in order to get it cheap. They were selling it for the equivalent of £30, and I think I got one of the last ones. And of course, it comes in very interesting continental packaging, it's a bit like Hell Jams. And you have the block of ice, standard. You have to lift out this foam insert in order to get to your important sheets. Uh, the uh, safety information, a breakdown of parts of the loco, and you will see on the box it doesn't make it obvious, but in the breakdown sheet it does have a six pin socket for DCC decoder fitting. So let's get the loco out of the box and talk to you a little bit about it. Here it is, and here's some more information on the prototype. It took a certain amount of research in order to find out about the prototype this model was based on, because unlike normal Hornby packaging, the box for this loco didn't come with any prototype information. However, the information I have found is really quite interesting. This 060 tank engine was a member of the Class 30, and it was operated, as you would expect, by Renfe, uh, also known as the Spanish National Railways. However, the Class 30 actually originated in England as they were built in Manchester and then Glasgow during the late 1800s by Sharp Stewart and Company. Uh, this is the same company that built the Isle of Man locomotives and the 440 locomotive which Edward from Thomas the Tank Engine was based. Uh, they also built this loco, which is the second oldest surviving steam locomotive in Brazil. It even operates a short passenger service for tourists. I suspect San Therese, our Spanish Class 30, however, didn't survive into preservation because I could only find this one picture of the prototype. Here it is in 1960. Uh, when we compare the picture with the model, we can tell that the uh, uh, that Electrotren has done a pretty good job of replicating the loco, as it has all the rivets, whistles, lamp irons, and so on. Uh, it, it is missing a couple of things though, and that's the one of them is the handrails on the side of the tank engine, uh, which is a bit odd. It's also missing coal. Uh, the coal bunker has an empty space, um, maybe they expect us to fill it ourselves? I'm not sure. But other than that, for £30 it, it is a pretty nice model. So we have our nice HO scale 060 saddle tank loco, but we need uh, some rolling stock to go with it, don't we? Now I could just use some of my uh, British outline coaches, like up here, but then M L L M S coaches running behind a Spanish loco or a loco that was running in Spain wouldn't exactly be prototypical. So I decided to go back on eBay and search for some Spanish outline coaches, and I found one which is really nice. This is a Kosh Kots uh, Costa uh, second class from the same period. Uh, Epocha 3 and it has a pretty nice box to it once again very much like other European brands in that it's uh, plastic it's not your standard block of ice and here it is now here's some more details on this Kosh Costa the Costa series of coaches were built between 1914 and 1928, and the series totaled at 400 units. Although you could see they had wooden panelling, they did have metal frames, so they were supposedly pretty sturdy. 
It's fairly hard to fault Electrotrend's model of the Kosh Costa series, as this coach appears to present almost all of the details found in the real thing, from the painted seats to the a domed ceiling design, which makes it look very American. Uh, not all coaches from this series had a doomed ceiling, uh, domed ceiling though, so uh, Electrotrend also produces models without the domed ceiling. Uh, these coaches also had electric lighting and heating. Uh, this model doesn't have heating, but it does have interior lights, which when combined with the fine replication of wood panelling, put this coach almost on par with Hornby Pullman coaches, which is pretty good. So, you've heard, uh, seen and learnt a bit about the Spanish tank loco, 060, and uh, you've also seen and learnt a bit about these uh, Kosh cost Costas, um, these uh, Coast coaches. So, that leaves only one thing, and that's to put it on the track. And I thought, well, the weather outside is really nice. How about I set up a track outside and uh, run the trains there? So, I hope you enjoyed this little review of uh, my rather unusual acquisition of a Spanish outline train. Uh, if you did, then please be sure to leave a like. And if you liked the video so much that you want to see more, then there's the subscribe button there. If you're still not sure, then you can always watch another video and make your decision. Or you can go to my website over here where I also do a lot of uh, music stuff. So, until the next video, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you later.